too clean of audio to make sure it's all good. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all your brothers out there. And um, this is an impromptu camp, all right, all through the spirit of power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, you know, we're the brothers from uh, GMS Chicago. Okay, we're out here in actually uh, the city of Joliet right now. And, um, you know, hey, we're here to uh, prophesy, okay, the downfall of this wicked kingdom, all right, which is ran by Esau Edom, all right, which that's what uh, this world will call today so-called white people, okay? That's their true biblical nationality. And we're here to tell the entire world that his kingdom is going to fall, okay? You know, the whole B system, all right? America, NATO, EU, all right? All of it's going to collapse at some point, Okay? When that kingdom collapses, the, uh, the kingdom of, uh, of Israel, all right, which you Israelites consist of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And also, just a side note, we do have some of our people, they actually look like the heathens due to the fact that our men have mixed and mingled, okay, with uh, the heathen women, all right? So some of our people actually look like the heathens, but really they go back to the sea line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the point being, that the, uh, the kingdom of Israel is going to rise after the downfall of this place. You see? All right. And um, you got anything on deck by any chance? All right. You know, we're living in beautiful times. We're living in beautiful times because we're seeing Esau scrambling. Okay. They don't know what to do. You know, they're getting to a point where they're trying to outlaw the Bible. You know, we were just uh, uh, listening to the... Uh, lesson that Elder Yashawamba did on how you have South Carolina and Georgia, they're trying to ban particular Bible verses, okay? And see what's going to happen is that's going to spread to the rest of the, uh, the rest of the states. And also, it's not going to just be one or two verses, okay? A few verses. It's going to be the entire Bible, you see? Um, you got something? If not, we can get Amos. Yeah, yeah, I was asking. Here. This is the book of Amos chapter 5 and verse 10 and it says they hate him that rebuke in the gate and they abhor him that speaketh up rightly man so they're making all these laws to get rid of the Bible when uh who's that president that said that the Bible will be the law of the land? Um was that Jimmy Carter? I believe it was Jimmy Carter if I'm not mistaken. Yeah they said that the Bible was the law of the land at one point man. Yeah. And, and that, that's why they want to get rid of the Bible so bad. They want to get rid of the Bible and they want to get rid of the um, constitution. Yeah, because really the main thing is is the is this word because this word is what's really bringing them down. Okay, all right. This is what's uh, making this kill, uh, kingdom collapse. You know, you see, because what's happening is as this word continues to get preached, the elect keeps waking up. Okay, and as the elect keeps waking up, uh, 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 Yahweh Shai is going to be on his uh, on his way back. His second uh, uh, coming is is gonna uh, happen then. All right, get that Matthew the twenty four chapter where it says, um, when this gospel is preached throughout all the uh, throughout the four corners of the uh, earth, then the end shall come. All right, I think that's how it's worded. Here's the book of Matthew chapter Speak up two. Talk Here's the book of Matthew chapter twenty four and verse fourteen, and it says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shoddy the income. Exactly, okay? They did this this gospel is being preached everywhere. And you get our Revelation 7. And, and like I said, what's happening is the elect is getting sealed. Alright? The elect is getting sealed wherever they're at. And as, as that continues to happen, you're gonna continue to see the downfall of Esau Edom's kingdom. Alright? You got it, Doc? 
Okay. Revelation chapter uh, seven. Seven. I uh, started. Um. Started one. It yeah, started one. Okay. This is Revelation chapter seven, and verse one, and it says, "And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth." holding the four winds of the earth, which is the north, south, east, and west. This is that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of God in their foreheads. Keep going. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Yep, so once the uh, uh, the elect is sealed, right, that's when the Lord's going to allow those angels to basically allow all hell to break loose. They're not going to be uh, holding that, that, that spiritual destruction back, okay, which is actually going to turn into physical destruction. You see, you know, that's uh, 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 what's coming very soon. And this is why Esau is trying to ban the Bible right now, okay? He's making his moves because he knows he has a short time. Get that as well in Revelation 12 and 12. All right, start at 10 though, okay? This is why things are, are, are ramping up, speeding up. That's why it's becoming more uh, um, uh, uh, draconian out here, you know? The laws are getting more intense, more strict, all right? We're basically living in a, um, a uh, what's that word I'm looking for? A, uh, uh, we're living in that martial law state for the most part, okay? You know? Yep. All right, but you got it, brother. This is Revelation chapter 7, and I'll start so, at verse 10. 12. So, like, 12? Uh, yeah, Rep oh, yeah, yeah, Revelation 12. So like, yeah, 12 and 10. This is Revelation chapter 12, and starting at verse 10, and it says, And I heard a loud voice saying, In heaven, now has come salvation, yep. and the strength of the kingdom of Yahweh, and the power of Hamashiach. That's what's coming, all right? Hey, hey, hey uh, uh, Yahweh's going to send Yahweh Shai, okay, to deliver us. You know, and he's not, remember, he's not coming as a man, all right, as it says in the book of Isaiah, I believe the 47th chapter, all right? He's coming as an angelic force, a, a power, okay, to, 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 to strip Esau uh, 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 from the rulership seat, all right, to strip his power from him, you know, and to deliver the elect. Okay, keep reading. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Yep. Which curse, which curse, which, which accused them before our God day and night. Mm -hmm. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word Slaki. of the Lamb. So that accuser is talking about Esau, the accuser of our brethren. Okay, and it says, uh, uh, where you at? For the accuser of our brethren is cast, cast down. down. Which accused them before our God day and night. Yeah, keep reading. And they overcame him by the blood and of the And they land. overcame them. And that day is talking about the elect of the nation of Israel. They overcame uh, 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 him by whom? The, the, uh, uh, how? By the blood of the Lamb, meaning Yahweh Shai. So it was already predestinated that the elect were going to get the victory over the beast system. Okay? You know, we're just playing out this movie. That's it. Everything's already written. It's already done, you know? We're, we're just, you know, getting to the end of this, you know, uh, uh, magnificent movie. All right, keep reading. And by the word of their testimony, mm. and they love not their lives or to death. Oh, it talks about what? The word of their testimony? Okay. And it talks about in Revelation as well, what? Those two witnesses? And we're testifying, man. Okay? Hey, we're, we're telling this world that, look, this guy Esau Edom, okay? He's actually a criminal. All right, he's a vagabond. You know, he's a fugitive on the loose. You know, he's actually not the the real people in the Bible. He's Esau Edom. And look at all the crimes that he's committed. That's what we're, what we're doing right now. You see, and then this is really hurt Esau Edom. All right, because they don't look like the pious people anymore. They're, they don't look like the righteous people. All right, they're actually getting called out on their bullshit. On their wickedness. You see? Keep reading. Therefore rejoice the heavens and them that dwell in them. Yeah, and the we should be rejoicing. And why is that? Because we know Yahweh Shai is about to return. Okay? That's why, hey, I, you know, I tell brothers this from time to time, man. They, now, of course, it's a balance. Take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. 
you shouldn't be always in that woe is me spirit. Now, some days, I'll say this, the Lord, you know, beats you up, so to speak, right? You go through hell, okay? You know, you may have some uh, ailments. Your woman might be acting up. Your kids might be acting up. They, you know, your boss might be giving you a hard time, right? Yeah, there's times where you're going to sigh and cry and mourn, right? But at the, hey, at the same time, you should be uh, uh, ecstatic right now because we're at the end of this thing. Okay, we're seeing the downfall of our enemies as we speak. Okay? We're literally seeing the downfall of these people. Look, these Babylonians aren't doing good out here. Hey, they're living paycheck to paycheck. All right? A lot of their homes are, uh, are, are, are going into foreclosure. They're getting their cars repoed. All right? They can't go on all these vacations like they used to do. You know? They're depressed, on drugs. You know what I'm saying? In a divorce, you know, it, it, these people are doing real bad out here, okay? This ain't, you know, the, the good old times in the, you know, the 60s, the, the, the 70s, 80s, even 90s and 2000s, you know? It's not like that anymore. This is America in 2024 where everyone is suffering right now, okay? And what's so crazy about Esau is the elite of their, um, of their nation is basically saying fuck you to, 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 to the lower level Edomites. Hey, if you're not in our club, you know, if, you, if you're not a part of, a, you know, the members only, all right, hey, we don't give a shit about you, you know? Too bad. Good luck with your journey. And they're legit just leaving them out there to dry, you know? But you got it, I think there's a little more. I think there's a little more there. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and them that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and for, of the sea, for the devil has come down onto you, having yep. great wrath, because he knoweth that he have it but a short time. Exactly, and that's what Esau's about to do, okay? He's about to come down with that wrath because he doesn't know how to um, uh, 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 hypnotize the people anymore, you know? You see, hey, th this word's coming out, all right? That's first and foremost. You got the men out here on the highways and byways teaching all over the internet. If it's not that, then you have what else? These uh, uh, truthers, right? That are, are you know, um, you know, uh, 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 basically exposing Esau's, you know, uh, uh, conspiracies. Okay, left and right, exposing what the government's doing. You know, people don't believe in this shit anymore, like how they used to. That's why they're trying to ban TikTok. Okay, basically they're trying to censorship everything. They're good. They, it's gonna start off with TikTok though. And they're going to say, oh, well, you know, it's not owned by, you know, the U.S. government or regulated by the U.S. government. It's by, you know, um, it's owned by Chinese, you know, entities. Okay. So this is why we have to stop this particular, um, you know, app, this particular social media site. But eventually, which they have already been doing, it's going to, you know, uh, uh, be YouTube as well. Okay. Uh, Facebook, Instagram which uh, 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 Facebook uh, owns Instagram anyways, okay? So on and so forth, you know? And then eventually, they're just gonna cut everything. It's gonna be like North Korea, all right? You only can look up some five websites, and that's that. You see? But um, you got something? No, I got something, something. This is Psalm 19 and verse one. The heavens declare the glory of the of God and the firmament sheweth his handiwork. Day on today utter a speech, night on tonight shew of knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. And that represents the uh the internet, man. Yep. The Bible prophesied about the internet, man, and, 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 and the Lord knew that when he set up the internet that his prophets were gonna go on that platform and teach the elect, man, scattered to all four corners of the globe. Yep, that's right. That, and that's there, a beautiful thing, man. We, we look, starting with the apostles on down, right? They didn't have to go from city to city, you know, country to country to teach this word. All they had to do was post videos on, you know, uh, in particular YouTube, right? And then this is what you see now. All these different camps throughout the uh, entire world, not just the U.S., the entire world, okay? Africa, Everywhere, Africa. man. Like how you said, Africa, Italy, Australia. Nigeria. Nigeria, all throughout South America, okay? All throughout Europe, you know? Then you got, um, I know it's a little harder for, you know, the brothers and sisters out there in, you know, 
particular parts of you know Asia to you know go out there and preach because you know they got all the, the rules and regulations. But hey, they they, they got um, brothers and sisters out there in the Philippines, you know, out there in the Middle East. Okay, you see, they just can't preach, you know, like how we are because they got, like I said, the, their government got all those rules and regulations where they, they literally might get put to death, man. You know. Yeah, real cute. Hey, but they're still listening and learning, so that's a beautiful thing, man. Okay? That's a beautiful thing. Because there, there, there would be no way that we could, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, finish the preach, uh, for lack of words, you know what I'm saying? Where we could get to, to everywhere, you know what I mean? See what I'm saying? Or if, if we were, or if the Lord wanted us to do it, I mean, it could happen, but it, it would take how, how much longer, though, you know, realistically? Okay? But, you know, as the scriptures say, well, anything's possible with the Lord, you know? <laughs> All right? But, um, but yeah, but point being, this makes uh, our job a lot easier. You know, hey, the Internet's doing the, 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 heavy, uh, uh, the heavy work for us. You see? You know, but um, is there anything else you've got? Kind of, yeah. Continuing on in Psalms 19 and verse 6, it says, uh, verse 5, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices as a strong man to run a race. It's going forth is from the end of heaven and it's circling to the ends of it and there is nothing here from the heat thereof, man. So there's nothing here on this internet. All types of internet, all, it's like all types of info and information circulate on the internet every day and that's the main reason why they want to remove it yep. because they know that they're being exposed, man. Yeah, I think it was uh, Hillary Clinton, if I'm not mistaken, said that we're um, losing the information war. Right. All right? Or the war on information. Okay, however she worded it, I forgot exactly uh, the terminology she used. Okay, and that's because the internet's uh, uh, around. Then uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, Rothschilds said that we should have never created the internet. Uh, yeah. You know, see they 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 uh, um, set this up at first to benefit themselves. You know, to spy on the people. Okay, see what they're doing. All right, to uh, uh, um, you know, further entertain the masses, right? But it, it eventually backfired on them. Okay, it eventually backfired on them. All right, but hey, as it says here in um, the book of Jeremiah 49, and um, I'll start at uh, I'll get straight to the point. Jeremiah 49 and 10, and it reads, "But I have made Esau bear." You know. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brother and his neighbors, and he is not. So Esau is being made bare. The Lord prophesied, okay? Or I'll say this, the Lord ordained for him to be exposed, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, to be exposed, man. All right? He, he already had it predestinated that this man was going to... Um, was going to get revealed all right for uh, uh, to, you know to, to get revealed in these end days you see all right and then eventually he's gonna um his whole sea line is going to be destroyed that's what the, the 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 latter half of that um of that verse is talking about okay and good riddance man we hey, we need it uh, 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 that to happen okay because this is the, uh, the wicked of the earth. Okay? Nothing positive uh, uh, comes from this guy. All you're going to uh, uh, find is, is uh, hell, man. All right? Death. Robbery. Rape. You know? Envy. That's what comes, you know, uh, 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 from Esau. All right? Well, uh, keep reading. Or whatever uh, you got. So like no, uh, no, no, no. Second Corinthians chapter 13. In verse 8, and it says, well, we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. So, so these Edomites have done everything in their power to deceive the entire world, and now it's coming back and falling upon them. Yeah. The scripture says that he that set up a trap shall fall therein, man. Ooh. You can't do you, you can't do nothing against the truth but for the truth. That's and right. these Edomites are gonna realize that the hard way, man. The scriptures say, um, I forget exactly where it says it, but it says who who resisted resisted the Lord's will. Right? Who, who, who has resisted the Lord's will? And that's a rhetorical question. All right? Nobody. Okay? We know the answer to it. Nobody. You see? 
hey, hey, hey everyone is, is um has been programmed to do the lord's will whatever it may be okay you know some are going to be on the right hand side some are going to be on the left okay hey some people are going to be uh, the good guys some are going to be the bad guys that, that that's what it is man you know and it just so happens that the israelites in particular right now the elect they're the good guys okay and then the bad guys are these edomites and then the rest of you people okay you're just like uh, uh um what do you call that you know um extras in the movie you know right they're just background people like you know ammon moab ishmael they're just you know people in the background to fill things up so it's not so damn quiet you know what i'm saying but really they the the main focus is Jacob and Esau. Good versus evil, as it says in Sirach, the 33rd chapter. You see? But, um, you got something to knock? Can I add that? Uh, Romans 9, you tell nah, me. This is Romans chapter 9, in verse, um, I started at verse 17. It says, For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might shoot my power in thee, and that my name might be declared through all the earth, man. So even going back to the book of exodus when our people were in captivity in uh, egypt man the lord purposefully hardened pharaoh's heart so that he can bring a great deliverance man yep. and all his and all his people and all his kingdoms got destroyed man but the israel got delivered and he did that for, for a major purpose yeah so his name could be exalted all right and it's going to happen again the lord has allowed esau to obtain this great technology all right to make him look like a a, a, a nation or a power that's never gonna fall, that's right. okay? But when he does fall, people are gonna realize, look, the power that did this was the power of Israel, okay? And the true living power is whom? Yahweh Ba Shem Shai, okay? Then everyone's gonna fear those names once again. Like how uh, uh, um, how it happened in uh, uh, the time of, uh, uh, you know, Exodus and all that, right? They yeah, did those um, other uh, uh, Hamite nations that were um, around Egypt, weren't they afraid? Uh, you know, they were afraid. They felt the yep. darkness, man. You know, That's some scary shit. No, no, I'm not saying the Egyptians. I'm saying those um, other nations. So, oh, come on, come on. you know, once uh, you know Israel was, you know, uh, getting into the Promised Land, they were scared. They're like, damn, man. You know, hey, you, you, you're the Israelites. You know, hey, your, your God is Yahweh, and, and, and your God took down Pharaoh. You know, and you gotta remember, hey, hey those Egyptians were, were were the top dog at the time. For, for, for you know years and years and years and years and years man okay during that time period they didn't think that uh, the Egyptians were gonna fall you know you see like in this time period th these people don't think the so-called white man Esau Edom's gonna fall you see but um keep reading um that Romans God, Romans chapter 9 verse 18 says therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy mm -hmm. and whom he will harden it Thou wilt say unto me, why do if he yet find fault? For who has yet resisted his will? Who? Who's resisted the Lord's will? And, and, and like I said, it's a rhetorical question. We know the answer to it. Nobody. Everybody's programmed, you know, to do what they're doing right now. All right? Hey, you got right on, right across the street, you got um, construction going on. Right behind us, you got the courthouse. Right? They, 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 they these guys, hey, these construction workers are doing what they're supposed to do. Hey, hey, the the, um, the attorneys, the judges are supposed to do, they're doing what they're supposed to do, okay? And we as the men of the Lord, all right, we're doing what we're supposed to do, which is prophesy, okay? You see? That's our job. You know, hey, a, 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 a baseball player is going to play baseball, a hockey player is going to play hockey, a musician is going to play music, and a prophet's going to prophesy, you see? You know? And we're going to continue to do this until uh, uh, the Lord uh, 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 puts a stop to it, puts an end to it, basically. Okay? But, um, you, uh, did you have any more in there? Uh, uh, Romans, by any chance, or no? Uh, no, I was my shit, but I do have another scripture. Con, con. This is Proverbs chapter 4. It's like, this is Proverbs chapter 21, and verse 24. And this says, A man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Exactly. You got to want to break it down. So calm, man. Everything in the world is, is going on because of the Lord, man. Yeah. Not a single leaf falls from the tree unless the Lord made it, made that to happen. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Okay. So right now, Esau is, you know, set up 
because you know the Lord wanted to show His power ultimately, you know, and to and, and, and to show also as well that it if you this is the outcome of not following the ways of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, which are the ways of righteousness, which is the way of life, because Esau is the way of death, man. Simple as that. Okay, you know. People are happy, the people are mourning. What is that, Proverbs, the, uh, the 29th chapter in the second verse? When the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. But when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. See, right now, everybody's mourning, okay? People uh, 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 can't, can't buy homes anymore, especially the past two, three years, okay? Homes have gone up. Let's say a, a average house was, you know, around about $250,000, right? In, in, uh, let's just say 20, uh, 21. In 2024, that house is 375000 You know? How are you going to buy that? You know, it, 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 the, the damn house went up about 33%, 40%. But your wages have gone up maybe at most 2%. Right. How could you afford that? You know? You go to the grocery store, things have gone up over 100% in the last few years. You know, it, it, there's no mirth in this uh, 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 these cities anymore. We're, we're, we're in, you know, we're not in Chicago, okay, right now, but we're in a pretty, you know, big city. There's nothing going on. It's empty. You know, this is the best spot that we can find. You know, to go come and preach. But this, this we're in the, the 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 downtown area of this city right now, and it's dead. There should be something going on. You know, people coming from you know restaurants. All right, we got the casino over there. Nobody's coming out of it. It's dead, man. America's through. It's done. You can you can see it. Hey, uh, you you got um, uh, major businesses closing left and right. You just had Joanne's file bankruptcy. Okay, that's you know uh, they sell a bunch of fabrics. You know the, you know arts and craft items. That that's completely gone now. It's, it, it, this place is done. All right, but um, this keep going. Yeah, yeah. This is the book of Haggai, chapter one, and verse six, and it says, "Ye have sown so much, and yet bring in little. Ye eat, but she not, but she have not enough to drink. Ye are not filled with drink. He clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages earneth wages to put it into a bag filled with holes, man." And that represents the majority of the people in Babylon, man. All this inflation, you gotta pay six dollars for a thing of eggs, man. Yeah. You know, all these people are earning their wages to put it into a bag filled with holes, man. Yeah, and then it's specific. It's for us Israelites, you know, because that's a curse, man. Right. Hey, but now, but because what does it say in Deuteronomy 30 and 7 that these curses shall fall upon your enemies? Now all these people are feeling it, okay? The Edomites, the Elamites, all right, Ishmael. All these different nations are feeling it. And that's why you're starting to see an uprising of the people right now. Get 2nd Ezra 15, okay? That's why people are starting to come up against the government because, you know, um, a, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? They're feeling the squeeze, man, okay? They're feeling that squeeze now. It ain't just us anymore, it's everybody, all right? If you're not a part of that, you know, that, 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 that circle, that club that they got, okay? Yeah, you're, you're struggling. Even somebody that's making, you know, several hundred thousand dollars a year, they're struggling. Especially, I'll say this, depending on where you live, man, you could be making six figures, all right, and be considered poor, man. Go to California, you, you make $150,000 and you're considered poor. I just talked to this one guy. He said his friend, um, his wife, his friend's wife was a doctor, and I forgot what this guy did. He worked with, uh, he was like in a tech, um, I think tech world, yeah, one of those tech, tech company, uh, companies. And this guy was struggling, out, uh, living out there in the, in the Bay Area. And you gotta remember, uh, a doctor, you know, they're making two hundred thousand dollars easily. Somebody in the tech world, round about, you know, one fifty to uh, hundred thousand, and they were struggling, struggling. They they moved from California to Indiana. That's how bad it was, you know? So people are hurting out here. But read what you got, Ak. Second ever 15. Uh, started like, uh, started at 14. 
God, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 15 and verse 14. It says, Woe to the world and to them that dwell therein. Yep. For the sword and the destruction draw up nigh. Yep. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. Yep, and that's going to come very soon. And we're kind of seeing it already. Oh, yeah. Okay? You know, it's just, a, you know, at a small level. But you got people, you know, shooting each other, okay, due to road rage. Maybe somebody's trying to carjack, you know, an individual. They get blasted because they didn't realize this guy was a concealed carry individual. You go out and train people are having knife fights. You know what I'm saying? You go to certain parts of the world, you're, you're having all-out war. Go to Ukraine right now. Go over there to the Gaza Strip, you know? It's real out here, man, but it's going to hit everywhere. No matter, no matter where you're at in the world, these prophecies are going to come to pass. It's going to be straight-up warfare. Okay, keep reading. Verse 15, and it says, For there shall be sedition among men, yep. and invading one another. So, uh, that word sedition, all right, one is... It means, uh, rebellion. Yeah, it's a, um, an uprising against the government, but I was going to say this. It's not necessarily just physically, okay? It's, it, one of the definitions, when you actually look that word up, goes into people um, uh, speaking it as well, all right? Voicing their opinion, basically going against the king. And, and what do you see right now? You see all these people, they're saying what? F Joe Biden, right? You know? You're seeing that you got the other, you got one half saying F Joe Biden, the other half saying F Donald Trump. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, because you got the left and the right. So people are, are losing their marbles. But then you got a lot of people that are just saying F everybody, man. You know, my, my taxes are keep, keep going up. I can't afford my property tax anymore. I, 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 I'm struggling. I, I'm wondering if, how am I, I uh, going to pay the, uh, that bill? You know? Groceries are, you know, uh, through the roof. Inflation. F f fuck all these people, you know. That, that's a, that's the mindset of a lot of people now. You know. Keep reading. But there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, and they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and all the courses of their actions shall stand in their power. Man. Yep. So it's gonna get crazy out here, man. These people are gonna be out here, a hey, killing each other, yep. shooting each other, on an increased level, man. Because they're gonna be so mad about them struggling that they're gonna to want to take their anger out on something. Yeah, they, they, they might go on a a, a whole uh, 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 homicide suicide situation. All right, fuck it. I'm gonna take as many people out as I can and then kill oh, yeah. myself. That should fuck be it. happening a lot, man. These <laughs> niggas get mad and they just go on a shootout. On Facebook Live to shoot random people and shit. Yeah. These, these niggas are bugged up. Edomite, you see Edomite get, get uh, you know, his assault rifles? Fuck it. I'm shooting up the mall today. Fuck it. I'm, I'm going to shoot up the school. You know what I'm saying? And just, and then he's got his, you know, his goddamn 9 millimeter on the, on the, you know, the, you know, on his side and just, right. uh, you know, once he gets trapped, runs out of bullets, fuck it. I'll take my life. You know what I'm saying? Crash out. That's they call it, the crash out. God damn. You know, but keep reading though, man. Verse 2nd Ezra 15 and verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Yep, and then see, with all these things that are happening in the world, all right, that's going to give Esau the justification to shut things down, all right, as we uh, speak, okay? You know, oh, there's the uh, uh, foreign terrorism, domestic terrorism, okay? You, you, oh, there's all this hate speech going, going around. You know, oh, you, you seen this shootout, that shootout, you know, what do they call uh, mass shootings? I, uh, what is it, uh, 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 cybersecurity threats? We got to shut everything down. It's for your safety. And that's what he's going to push to. It's for your safety. You know, and I'm going to get that in a second too. But keep reading. Continuing Good. on to verse 18. For because of pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. And a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their house with the sword, and spoil their goods for a lack of bread and for great tribulation. Yep, and that's the reason why these people are going to go crazy, because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. There's going to be so much hardship out here that people are just going to do desperate things because of desperate times. 
that, that, that law-abiding citizen that's been, you know, you know, uh, a one citizen for his whole life, he's gonna lose it because he, he, his family needs to eat. So he's gonna go rob the, you know, the grocery store. He's gonna go to his neighbor's house and take what, what they have. Cause he's gotta feed his family. He doesn't care anymore. No yeah. more Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah, no, there was a video on TikTok. Well, I seen it on Instagram, but it was on TikTok. And you had this one immigrant that was uh, talking about that there's a law that they can evade American homes, man. Yep. And he's and he's literally telling these immigrants that they can basically invade and uh, invade American homes, that the police won't be able to get them out. Yep. And see, and, and whether that guy be a you know a, uh, a paid agent, because a lot of stuff that you see too, um, that you see out here. A lot of this stuff is uh, orchestrated by the elites, okay? So I'll say this, that video that you were talking about, it was on uh, the, the mainstream media. So anything you see on the mainstream media, you instantly have to question, okay? But I'll say this though, that spirit is getting pushed out there. And then a lot of these, uh, uh, in particular, the, the South American immigrants, if, for instance, right, these are uh, Venezuelans, these Colombians, etc. Right, a lot of the ones that are coming up here, they're actually like prisoners. Like I heard in um, yep. um, in the city of Caracas, right, the the, the government, uh, I think Car is Caracas in Colombia or is that in Venezuela? I forgot Salaki. I can't remember what city, uh, what country it's in, but the government is literally taking the um all the you know all the prisoners and shooting them up here yeah. so all these a lot of these immigrants man they they're dangerous individuals man Dang. you know they're they're part of cartels okay different type of you know gangs and we're, we're not talking about american gangs which are you know they're, they're lightweight you know what right. i'm saying Th these cartels look man they'll chop a person up alive they'll chop your body up yeah. and put that shit in the bag man they, 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 they'll, they'll they'll throw your baby in some acid and let you watch it. You know what I'm saying? They'll they'll, they'll watch you. Uh, uh, they'll have you watch uh, uh, them gang rape your wife and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how they get down. They're wild as hell, okay? And they're coming up here, and they, they see what you know how sweet America is. Cause America's real sweet, man. Okay? So they're like, fuck it, man. Wait, let's take it. No one's gonna stop us, anyways. You see? But going back to what we were saying, Esau wants his order out of chaos, okay? All these things that happen, so then he can uh, have justification in declaring martial law That's and right. in putting a foot in your ass, man. And then, and then say, you know, this is all for your, you know, your, your safety and for, you know, and for the, uh, uh, the continuance of uh, uh, democracy, you know? But let me get this real quick. This is uh, Daniel chapter 7, or Salaki, Daniel chapter 8. Verse 24, and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. And he shall destroy wonderfully, and shall prosper and practice, and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. And through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. And he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. You see? He's going to destroy many by peace. Look, I'm doing it for your safety. I'm doing it for your good, okay? Get in your home now. You go in your home, this dude's gonna lock you up in there and he's gonna have you starve to death. Then if you try to get out, then he's gonna shoot you. So what am I supposed to do? Figure it out, buddy. That's basically what he's gonna tell you. Figure it out, buddy. Not my problem, you know? And it says, he also shall stand up against the prince of princes, and he shall be broken without hand. And eventually, he's gonna uh, uh, go against Yahweh Shai himself, and he's gonna lose terribly. All right. That's right. See? Probably uh, pull another like 10 to 15 minutes, and we'll be done. I have a little something on Revelation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Revelation chapter 13, and I start at verse three, and it says. And I saw one of his heads as if it were wounded to death. And his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wondered after the 
peace. And this peace is going into the uh, Roman Empire. Because before peace, the uh, son with the lion, Slocky, yeah, that shit's loud as hell. That shit loud. Slocky, they just... Slocky, bro. Yeah, we're gonna go down. Now, that was so damn loud, I could barely hear you. I'm right next to you. Let's just go down over here. God, you know what I'm saying? So the damn thing, you know, doesn't block the sound. Shit, bro. That sound, you know what I'm saying? It's already getting... sounds getting lower. Yeah, I guess we could just do it right here. Uh, read that again. But yeah, going back to Revelation the 13th chapter, and starting at verse 3, and it says, And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and the deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast was talking about. You know, when you read the book of Daniel, and it goes to the four beasts, you know, the lion represents the Babylonian Empire, the, the uh, bear represents the Medio Persian Empire, the leopard is talking about the um, Greek Empire. And the fourth piece is the Roman Empire. So let's talk about the Roman Empire being revived. Let's talk about America. Yeah. And it says what they wondered after the beast, yeah. right? And that word wonder, when you go into it, goes into a um, um, uh, definition of uh, admiration. And when you look up that word admiration, it means to uh, um, to look back. Okay. Right. So basically, what these people are doing is they're looking at the beast and. and, and um, and seeking answers like well, what do I do with my life tell me what to do tell me what's right and what's wrong instead of Yahweh Shimei Awashai they have respect okay unto this uh, beast system rather than Yahweh Shimei Awashai alright and that's going to get a lot of people destroyed in particular our people you know the two thirds of our people because really right now they should be repenting and getting right you know that's right but hey they, they refuse to hearken and that's going to be for their downfall you know but I'll uh, keep reading Continuing on to verse 4, <clears throat> and it says, And they worshipped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? And who is able to make war with them? Ooh. Yeah, who is uh, able to make war with the beast? And that's the mind frame of um, these people. Who can take America down? Who can take uh, NATO down? That's the right. EU. You know? That, that, that's how they feel. A lot of, especially these Americans, they, they feel that, that no one's going to touch them. Right. <laughs> they don't care like, oh, oh Russia, you know, they, they're saying that they got nukes, yeah, so do we. And we ain't never fallen. We're America. You know? And you see, hey, the Lord's got you all in a strong delusion to make you believe a lot. You know? You 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 people really think you're, you're untouchable. But wait, it's prophesied that America's gonna be completely annihilated. All right? But you got uh, any more of that? Nah, continuing on, it says, And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue 40 and 2 months. Which, you know, that, that goes back to uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 3. You know, the man that spoke all kinds of lying wonders and came in the work of a Satan, man. He yep. saw even the so called white man. That's right. And he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and then let dwell in heaven. Yeah, so this guy's saying that he's the most high now. Right, you look at all the uh, the, 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 uh, the paintings, right? Uh, of uh, all the modern day paintings, right? You know, you got Esau as the most high. Esau is uh, uh, our Lord and Savior. Esau is all the prophets. Esau is the angels. He's everything, man. Okay, then if you don't, oh, okay, you, you don't believe in religion, all right, well, my science is better than, than, than uh, the ways of, of, of nature, which basically the ways of nature is the ways of the, uh, of the Most High, because, you know, the Most High set up what we see. GMO is better than, you know, than real things. You know, uh, my artificial fruit and my artificial, you know, meat is better than the real thing. That's what this guy is literally saying. This guy's out of his, this guy's a fucking nut job, man. You know, and you start realizing this when the Lord opens up your eyes. You're like, God damn, this guy is a real psychopath. You know, wait a minute, brother. You, you were born a man. And, oh, you want to be a woman? That's that's hey, no problem with me. That's basically what Esau's saying. This guy's fucking crazy, man. 
He's against life. Literally, this guy is against life, man. And this is why we need Yahweh Shai. Because if, if, if um, this guy continues in his rulership, no flesh uh, shall be saved. Okay? But uh, is there any more to that or no? Nah? Come on, there was one more verse that said, and it, was, and, it, and it was given unto him to make war with the saints and Ooh. to overcome them, and power was given over all kindred tongues and nations. Yep, so he, he, he was um, given that power to war with us, right? Because those saints are, are us. Okay? And then eventually, you know, he got, you know, dominion over this whole world. You see? Hey, they, they, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. This is the time where evil reigns. This little, this little, uh, 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 you know, a uh, piece in the timeline, you know what I'm saying? You know, what would uh, Elder Yaki say? He says, uh, uh, wickedness has his time. Yeah. And righteousness has his eternity, you know. See, after this, it's just gonna be all righteous, no bullshit. Okay, the laws of Yahweh Bashimah Shah are gonna be established, and that's that. You know, uh, let's probably get our last precepts because I know you gotta get to work, and it's, it's this about that Daniel, time. This is Daniel chapter four and verse seventeen, and it says, "This matter is about to decree the watches." And the demand of the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of man and giveth it to whomsoever he will and set it up over the basis of men. Mm -hmm. So going as to what this brother Natsaki was saying, you know, wickedness is ruling over this earth right now. The Lord gave power to the hands of Esau Edom to rule over this earth, man. But his power, for his kingdom is about to be destroyed. Yep. Point blank period, man. Exactly. Uh, what does Revelation 18 say? Is that where it talks about the destruction of Babylon? We'll send it off with that. Let's start at 18, Ock. Uh, 18 and 1. This is Revelation chapter 18 and verse 1. And it says, And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great has fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Man. Yeah, and that's going into when America's completely destroyed, okay? The only thing that's going to inhabit this land is basically, you know, desert-like creatures, you know, unclean things like scorpions, all right, vultures, things under that nature. Okay, keep reading. And it says, for all the nations have drunk the wine of her fornication, which yep. is talking about the philosophies and the doctrines, uh -huh. you know, trading and all that. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, yep. and the merchants of the earth have our wax rich through the abundance of the delicacies. Yep, and see, uh, these countries, even though they may disagree with particular things that America does, they compromise because they make, uh, 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 you know, they make money from America. You know, you gotta remember, America imports more than exports. So these nations, you know, they make, you know, uh, you know, good money dealing with America. That's why they're, you know, they haven't fully bucked up, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? See, right now, what they're trying to do is um, create like a safety net once they pull away from America. But we know that's gonna fail. You know, that safety net right now is that, that um, the, the BRICS nations, you know? They think that, okay, once, you know, Russia and its allies, you know, you know continue to get, you know, uh, continue to make things, you know, um, uh, what I'm looking for. They, they, they continue their, you know, uh, uh, enterprise, so to speak, Salaki, for lack of words, right? And then as that continues to grow, we'll, you know, bail from America. Yeah, we may take a hit, but then we'll deal with these guys. But look, the Lord's not going to allow that to happen. It's just going to be World War III soon, and that's that. Okay? And you're all going to be involved in it. You know? And you're all going to fall. Keep reading. Verse 4, and it says, And I heard another voice from heaven 
saying, come out of her, my people, that she be not partakers of her sins and that you receive not of her plagues, man. So in our captivity, the Lord is going to call upon his elect to get out of this place, man. He's going to deliver his people. And he's going to cause the eyes and ears of his people to be open to the truth, man. So that when this destruction comes down, you know, Israel can be saved, man. And that's what we're seeing right now with the everyone, you know, starting to wake up. The, the elect, you know, when I say everyone, I mean the elect, yep. You know, all right, they're starting to wake up. We're seeing it. That's why, you know, you see camps everywhere, as we mentioned before. Even a, a common person, you may bump into the store, you'll see them with fringe, you know, the t-shirt on with fringes. Yeah. All right? T-shirt on. You know, somebody that you knew in high school or something, you know, makes a, a Facebook post about being, you know, Israelite. You know what I'm saying? Just shit like that. You you know, like, damn, you know, people are waking up. I've seen that there was this one, this was a couple years back, you had this Jake. He basically, uh, you had this, he was at a, like a CVS or something. I don't know the exactly, uh, what caused the situation but he he uh he blew up on this Edomite that was working at the store and he was just like fuck you you know you're an Edomite you know you're going into slavery and he was just cursing them out and it, it was a Jake that you know reminded me of somebody like a Chief Keef or something you're like god damn you know so hey Israel's waking up man but uh keep reading out just probably a little more God, con reading on a verse five it says for her sins have reached on to heaven, and God has remembered her iniquity. That's right, the Most High has remembered all the evil that America has done to his people. And he's going to repay them when he comes back. Continuing on to the next verse, it says, Reward her, even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to the, her works in the cup which she had filled. Yep, and that's, talking about, and that's talking about these Edomites. They're going to, uh, uh, you know, uh, receive double okay for the their evils that they've done unto us okay you see keep, uh, keep reading how much she have glorified herself and then the message so much torment and sorrow give her right so america has lived the mission of the suffering of our people the slavery and genocide of the southern kingdom the so-called negro and the northern kingdom man mainly you know uh native tribes you know, tribes are gathering root. Yeah, but, this place but, is, but even now, man, you know, you got, you know, all the tribes here, right? And, and, and who's the ones that are getting, you know, shot down by the cops, all right? You know, getting thrown into jail. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit, having a hard time getting into this country. It's all it's all the tribes, man, you know? All those, you know, so, uh, Northern Kingdom tribes in South America, on the islands. And also, uh, what is it saying, uh, Jeremiah? that uh, Israel and Judah were oppressed together. You know, hey, our people are, because it's funny, they, they always show, whether it be Northern or Southern Kingdom, when they talk about the immigrants, right? In particular, Northern Kingdom, but they, you know, they'll talk about Haiti and, and uh, you know, the Jamaicans and stuff, right? But they, you never see, the, you know, the Chinese, you never see the um, the Arabs, the Sudanese, you know, in, in these, uh, um, you know, news groups. It's always uh, some Mexican, some uh, 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 Guatemalan, some Venezuelan, a Haitian, you know. Oh, here, here are all the immigrants. But what about all those, those Chinese? Okay, like I said, the Sudanese. What about all the Arabs? Shit, what about all the Polacks, man? You know what I'm saying? What about all the Russians, the Lithuanians? They're coming too, man. Best believe, man, because they... <laughs> my, my, my one uncle, his wife, or my aunt, Hey, she's Polish, man, and I know her people, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the majority of them came in illegally. But see, they don't get hassled because, you know, they're, they're Polish, man. You know what I'm saying? They can actually set up a whole trucking business, a whole asphalt business, you know what I'm saying? And not get hassled. You see? Keep reading. It says, this is verse 7. How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow get hurt. So she said in her heart, I sit a queen, and I am no widow, and yep. I shall see no sorrow. Uh -huh. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be better than with fire, strong with more power than That's what's coming to America, all right? This destruction, these missiles, they're going to hit this place 
and in one hour it's gonna be completely annihilated and destroyed. You know? Bye bye America. You see? But um, you know, we're gonna end up, you know, we're gonna end camp. You know, we, we uh through the spirit, you know, got out here a little impromptu. Hopefully whoever was listening was edified and with that we're gonna give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom and calm Yasharala. Shalom.